Hi Scorpio, welcome to your mid-month August reading going into September. Thanks for joining me. My name's Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus Science. Scorpio, let's take a look. From Le Vampire, you have the card of Reason. This is of course about uh, the need to reason, the need to think clearly, to think logically, to use your wisdom, to use your experience gained. There's a feeling around this also of listening to advice, perhaps advice from someone who is uh, has a little bit more of a, a detached viewpoint in the matter that at hand here, Scorpio, but we'll see where that goes. Now around you, I do get this beguiling kind of enchanting energy and spelled. So it seems like someone has you in their thrall. Now it could be something here where you're feeling enthralled or you have some kind of magnetic pull towards a person perhaps it's someone who is giving you advice it could be that now we have the overall feeling here which is the wheel of fortune but it's in its darker side uh, think of it as a reversed wheel of fortune so it tells me that you're dealing with some difficult circumstances at the moment you're, you're not feeling that things are moving in your favor you may even feel like things are at a standstill but we'll see where this goes here scorpio this could be your energy could be someone around you or if you're cross watching for scorpio this could be the one that you're dealing with and of course a general reading won't be for everyone bottom of the deck for you we've got the seven of pentacles in reverse so it tells me that there's a an energy around this of frustration and a giving up we also have the hierophant could be in relation to a marriage or partnership something that feels more traditional giving up on a uh, a traditional kind of it could be an organization it could be a job uh, it could also be a relationship of course and guys don't forget i've got two new channel memberships I want to talk to you for a bit about those as well. New channel memberships. Well, what uh, what I'm doing there is I've got a couple of tiers up. I'll have more tiers in the future. But uh, the best value one there is the one for $4.99. And that way you can get the uh, all of the readings, the YouTube readings, including the he said, she said readings, about a week before everybody else. And you also get them all at once too, so you don't have to wait for your sign. So if you're interested in that, please consider joining my team, my channel. That would be fantastic. And uh, of course, we'll get to know each other better that way as well. So uh, let's get started with your reading, guys. Yeah, it seems like something has not worked out um, perhaps the way that you wanted yeah I get that again the wheel of fortune in reverse it feels like something something not working out to plan it, it feels like a, a reversal of fortune it feels like things are not not going the way that you'd hoped there may even be a loss uh, loss of money loss of funds could be around an earth sign or someone who is a spouse or a, someone who's a nurturing energy around you. So let's get started here. Scorpio, we'll get a card which signifies you, where you currently stand, where you hope to stand in the future, how you are viewing the other person, how you've perceived them in the past, your doubts and fears, what's happening around you that's affecting you and the potential outcome okay and let's get the other person we'll do witch's tarot for them the person that you're dealing with either side can resonate so please keep that in mind we've got the ace of swords and the four of wands so there may be a decision being made here perhaps about a commitment a marriage it feels like some communication is going to happen quite quickly it could be in response to yeah, I'm picking it up as earth sign, earth sign energy. Now you may have a lot of earth in your chart or it could be that you're dealing with an earth sign. Let's see. We'll get a card which signifies the person you're dealing with, where they currently stand, where they hope to stand in the future, how they are viewing you, Scorpio, how they've perceived you in the past, Let's take a look and see what their doubts and fears are, their external circumstances, and their outcome. 
Remember, either side can resonate, so whatever side resonates the most, please take that as your message. And again, general messages. Wheel of, oh, sorry, the world. Got that wheel of fortune in my brain, but it, you know, when we think about circles, right, cycles, things coming around again, this feels like circular energy, but it doesn't bring about anything good. It, it feels, it feels like, it feels like a block. Let's see. We've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse over here. So that's that Earth sign energy that I was getting. There's some unhappiness. I do get a disconnect between the two of you. It feels like a lack of stability. It, it feels like a focus on a lot of negative negative energy between not not exactly between the two of you it, it feels more around you could be third parties but let me see for you here scorpio judgment in reverse so it, it is about decisions decision making you may be finding it difficult at the present time to make a choice where you are headed hmm. It seems like there's somebody here guiding you. I get I get that this, this is someone around you that you're quite enchanted by. For some reason I have that as an advisor. Could be a friend. But are they giving you the the thing is when we become enchanted with someone who's giving us advice, oh that, that colours it, doesn't it? And I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Mm. Okay, well, we've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Empress in reverse over on this side. So someone's extremely unhappy. There's a lack of being... There's a lack of being appreciated. There's a lack of grounding here. Uh, these two cards should be in the upright. I feel that this person here is going through a difficult time at the present because of uh, people around them including you Scorpio but I think it's more than that I feel it, it, it's a maybe a group or uh, maybe several people but I feel like this person isn't feeling their best they're not feeling valued they're finding it very difficult to get grounded in their life now your hopes for the future the hermit so it seems like you want to spend time on your own I think you want to get to uh, You want to be in some kind of a solitary environment. This person has the Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, not great energy. Taking all three of these together, guys. I'm sorry, but this person has an energy of giving up on this. Because they know they, they don't have, they don't seem to have any effect on you, Scorpio, and they know that. It's making them very... I'm getting exhausted just looking at this reading. It's going to be a tough one for me, guys. I'm just putting it out there. So, you know, um, this one's not going to be a great reading. So I just want to say if, if you're not... If this doesn't seem like you right now, I'd switch off. Because to be honest with you, I don't feel that this is going anywhere good. But if this one is resonating and Scorpio, you're the, a person here who's um, thinking of going it alone for a while, leaving this person behind. I feel that this person has been an important figure in your life, but there's an energy around them of giving up on this because they they know they, they don't seem to have any effect on what whatever you're doing over here. Now, how are you viewing this person? We've got the devil. So you feel a bond, you feel tied to this person, you feel bound to them. But the thing is, Scorpio, you're not really, because I feel like this person knows already. They're, they're already freeing you, so to speak. Doesn't make them feel good, but I, I do sense very strongly that this person is 
is freeing you but you're you're viewing this as a tie but they are they aren't okay how they're viewing you we've got the four of pentacles stability our security this is a relationship I feel it's a marriage a commitment it does have an energy of codependence between the two of you how you perceive them in the past the wheel of fortune in reverse okay how they perceived you the ten of pentacles so this is someone who did view you long term I did see this as a uh, their happily ever after they wanted this to be their legacy uh, they wanted this to be a stable relationship you however I get this very circular energy of uncertainty it seems like you met or, or you you may have married this person during a time in your life when you were down on your luck when things were not working out you were hoping that this would pull you out of a negative cycle in your life your doubts and fears the hierophant you don't know if you can be in this marriage Yeah, tough one for me, guys. Tough one. Yeah. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This person is going to do their best. External influence. The Eight of Swords in reverse. So it seems like you're looking to free yourself from a restriction you feeling that this is restrictive then their external influence here is the ten of wands so they know it's going to be tough i do feel that you're going to go uh, separate ways from this person and they have the six of pentacles yeah I do feel that you're going to have to be fair to this person. That's for sure. Yeah, I get it as fairness. Needing to be fair. Needing to be fair. So let's let's get a card. I want to see what this uh, energy here of reason and enchanted is all about so let's take a look the knight of pentacles in reverse and three of cups and ace of cups yeah it does seem like somebody's giving you advice here Scorpio it seems like uh, I've got them uh, enchanted beguiled and spelled so it, it seems like there's an energy here of you looking at someone but I'm getting it as colored in some way yeah difficult with the wheel of fortune in reverse I'm getting this is this is a downturn it seems like uh, things are, are not going to work out in your favor but nevertheless i think you you're you're enchanted by this advice uh, and this person and with the three of cups and the ace of cups and the knight of pentacles there in reverse it, it feels to me like a pleasure it, it feels like uh, fun it, it feels it feels like it feels like enjoyment but enjoyment of of pleasures enjoyment of many pleasures that kind of feeling and uh, i do think that you're you're looking towards that direction uh this other person here i do feel uh, there's a, a sense of heavy burden around this individual but nevertheless i, I feel like uh, there's a sense here of needing balance in their life fairness 
fairness. So I do think on this side it's someone who needs fairness in their life to be treated justly and fairly and equally. And on your side I get this as more about you seeking, seeking pleasure, seeking fun, uh, seeking good times and this enchantment. And there's a, a real need here with reason to look uh, logically at uh, advice, to, to listen to advice, to think clearly, to act with, uh, with reason, with logic, with common sense, especially with this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, which suggests that uh, insight and wisdom can be gained from anything here that feels like misfortune. So whatever feels a sense of misfortune, a sense of uh, bad luck, a downturn in the cycle, I do feel that you're being asked to look at what you might have learned from this. But I'm wondering if this isn't a cycle that is coming back around again or you're going through some kind of cycle at the moment in order for you to to gain this, this wisdom, to gain this, this sense of reason and logic. Yeah, so there is something there. It, it feels like it's something that you're looking towards. I do feel that you're going to go towards this here, uh, Scorpio. And, uh, and for this other person, there's really just a sense here of being treated equally and fairly. But I do think that there, uh, there's a sense here of being overwhelmed with a, a with with uh, what's in front of them but at the same time I get that monetarily speaking because I feel that there's a lot of look at all these pentacle cards on this side it feels to me like as long as there's an equal fairness given in terms of, of uh, being paid their due is what I'm getting then I feel like this person is going to be able to to deal with this uh, this heavy burden that is being placed on them. So Scorpio, we'll see where this goes in the extended, guys. Again, this this one's a heavy reading. Hope that you join me if this one's resonating because we'll be going a lot more in depth. So please do join me there. The link is down below in the descriptions box, and it'll be about another 25 to 30 minute reading. If you'd prefer a personal reading please do email me. My email is gypsyinsights at gmail.com. As well, guys, uh, don't forget to uh, join. If, you, if you're uh, looking at the channel memberships, you can click on that join button and uh, get more details there. As well as if you're a newcomer, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Don't forget to click that little thumbs up button down below as well. Leave me a comment. Uh, I hope this one isn't you guys. This one's particularly uh, tough. But if it is, please do join me in the extended. Wishing you the best here, Scorpio. I'll speak to you again very soon. Please take care.